Today I'd like to talk about welcoming new people here at St. John Newman. I'd like to briefly outline six parts to this welcoming new people, this evangelization that we have at St. John Newman. And then I'd like to take each of those six areas and just further break them down. Number one, we here recognize hospitality as a ministry. Number two, we know that it's very important to make a good first impression. Three, we strive to be intentional about saying hello and goodbye. Number four, we strive to help newcomers feel at home in worship. Number five, follow up with those who visit us. Number six, be more inviting. Number one, we talked about recognizing hospitality as a ministry, and therefore we teach that hospitality is at the core of the gospel message. And we teach our parishioners to see Christ in everyone and that God seeks to be in relationship with each and every person. In our second point, making a good first impression, we have seven quick bullets. Number one, convey a clear invitation and a statement of welcome in all of our communications that are directed, for example, newspapers and flyers and websites and our bulletin. Number two, we know that 40% of our visitors make up their mind about a church before they even see the pastor. Within two minutes of the beginning of Mass, our visitors have formed an opinion about whether the parish is friendly or not. Number three, we really seek to care for our buildings and our grounds. A well cared for building demonstrates a commitment to excellence and it communicates that what the church does is important. Number four, we have a clear exterior and we have interior signage that guides our visitors everywhere that he or she needs to go. Number five, our, if our parking lot is congested, if that's an issue like at Christmas, we recruit volunteer parking attendants. Number six, we make our narthex, we make our nursery clean, safe, sanitary, well-equipped, and visually appealing to our children and their parents. And number seven, we make our restrooms neat and clean, just like McDonald's. Number three, we want to be intentional about saying hello and goodbye. So we station greeters at all of our entrances. Number two, we identify our greeters and our ushers with a special badge, a name tag, so that our visitors who need information can easily identify them. Thirdly, we encourage friendly, outgoing persons with a gift for hospitality to serve as greeters and ushers. Not everybody can do this, so we, we provide regular tra training that helps them see the church through a visitor's eyes. Number four, oftentimes we try to escort our newcomers to the parish center, maybe for coffee and donuts. We just don't point in a certain direction. We actually escort them there. Number five, we adopt the rule of three, which says members will not talk to other members in the first three minutes following the service because typically that's how long it takes for our visitor to exit. So in that three minutes, we want to approach them. Number six, we enact the circle of ten rule that each member will greet anyone that is a member or a guest who comes within ten feet of them. So we want to bridge that. Number seven, we say, I don't think we've met before if we're not sure if the person next to us is a member of our congregation or is a visitor. So we reach out. Number eight, we post someone at every exit to shake hands and thank people for coming. We ask our readers, our music leaders, our Eucharistic ministers to do this because their faces are familiar to our visitors. The fourth point that we made in helping newcomers feel welcome at home here at St. John Newman has eight quick points. Number one, we accept and we encourage casual need attire. Number two, we do not ask visitors to stand up to identify themselves because we know that 70% of new attendees feel very negatively about being pointed out, about being recognized, and they feel uncomfortable. However, they do expect us to be friendly and welcoming. 
Number three, we make sure that the mass parts are easy for a visitor to follow. We include written or verbal explanations of what is going on and why. So in other words, we have these little booklets in our pews in which include our prayers and when to stand or to sit or to kneel. Number four, we sing at least one hymn each Sunday that everybody knows. Even they recognize outside of the church. says it's Amazing Grace or Joyful, Joyful or Morning Has Broken or songs that are very, very familiar. Number five, we place information about our church's ministries where a visitor can easily find it. Sometimes in our pews, sometimes they're clearly marked out at our welcoming table. We don't expect people to go someplace else to find it. We want to make it available for them. Number seven, we give our visitors with small children an opportunity to go to the nursery, an opportunity to maybe look at some small mass booklets as they enter, but we actually invite our children and welcome them to our masses. And number eight, we limit the announcements. We just don't go on and on and on. Number five, we follow up with those who visit us. And here are six quick points. Number one, we get the names and addresses of first-time visitors when we can. Sometimes we use visitor cards in our pews. Number two, we make a special effort to remember visitors' names, and we call them by their name. Number three, we make at least one follow-up contact with first-time visitors within 24 to 36 hours of their coming to St. John Newman. Sometimes a letter from the pastor, a phone call, a handwritten note, an email message is sufficient. Sometimes we often deliver a gift such as freshly baked cookies or a church coffee mug to some of our visitors' homes. The purpose is to communicate friendliness, not get a membership commitment, not pressure them. Number four, we develop a system or a database for keeping track of our visitors, their contact information. And from this mailing list of persons who have visited in the past, we promote ourselves. Number five, we don't overlook visitors who come to church for the first time for an event other than Mass. It could even be a wedding or a funeral. It could be some kind of a talk or a presentation. And finally, number six, we encourage visitors to get connected with activities and groups in our parish. Our last category is we want to be more inviting. So first of all, number one, we hold an open house Sunday at least once a year. Number two, we organize a Be a Friend Sunday at least once a year. Three, we extend extra hospitality during back to school times, Christmas and Easter, when persons are most likely to consider visiting St. John Newman. Number four, we start a personal invitation ministry. Three out of four people attend a church for the first time because they're personally invited. Yet less than half of the church members say that they've ever invited anyone during the past year. Five, we provide training to members of how to invite others to church. Six, we print special invitations at Christmas Eve services that people can deliver to their friends. Number seven, we plan special events like concerts or lectures that appeal to members outside of our parish and then members feel more comfortable to invite them. And finally, number eight, we have a special recognition Sunday for scout groups, for preschool families, for other community groups meeting in our church to encourage them to attend our worship ceremonies. Once again, we here at St. John Newman have a very strong welcoming committee, and we do a very good job of hospitality, and we seek to even do a better job.